Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We're illustrating how Tesla shows as a perfect example of how candlestick signals and patterns and the philosophy behind candlestick analysis allows investors to take profits at the maximum optimal time. Utilizing candlestick charts allows investors to identify the areas that the Japanese rice traders tell us profit taking is about to occur. The first is a very simple rule. The Japanese rice traders illustrate where most people buy. They buy exuberantly at the top. Where do most people sell? They sell, panic sell at the bottom. As we could see in Tesla, it kept moving up, moving up, still staying above the T-line, but then it started seeing exuberant buying, bigger price moves. These big price moves ultimately led to a price that was moving way away from the T-line. Remember our simple rule of the T-line. You can stay long as long as it stays above the T-line with the caveat that the further you move away from the T-line, the higher the probability it's going to come back and test it. Note how far away it started to move from this level. Knowing that makes taking the profits up here much more likely we're using a very simple technique. Because what you don't want to do is maybe have a big pullback so you do have a reversal signal and then confirmation all the way back to the T-line, which would uh, take back an exorbitant amount of profits. Very simple uh, process. Because candlestick signals are the graphic depiction of what's going on between uh, buyers and sellers, all we do is flip to a more timely chart. This allows us to take profits up here versus here or here or all the way back down here. Knowing that the price has moved too far away from the T-line on your daily chart, you start flipping to your 10-minute chart. And the same parameters work on your 10-minute chart. You can start moving stops up as long as it stays above the T-line until up here, when it started selling off, you stopped out in this area because a very simple uh, analysis. When people start selling, they pull the plug and start selling very rapidly. As long as it stayed above the T-line, you could stay long. This is how you optimize your profitability by using a shorter term chart. In this case, we use the 10 minute chart to start taking profits. This allowed for taking profits up here well before it did a potential reversal signal, a doji. Had you not closed out using 10 minute chart, now you go back to your daily charts. When it opens and closes at the same level, doing a doji, that tells you exactly what's occurring in investor sentiment. There's indecision now between the bulls and the bears. And then we have the simple doji rule. It's going to move in the direction how they open after a doji. When they opened it lower the next day, that was a signal to close out immediately. Because where do you think your next target was going to be? Back to the T-line. Because candlestick analysis is merely the graphic depictions of human nature, which includes just common sense into price movements, you can start identifying when, a, uh, when to take profits, when you can suspect where a candlestick sell signal might occur, you start seeing signs of exuberance at the top of a trend, you see prices moving too far away from the T-line, which allows you to maximize your profitability by utilizing the 10-minute chart to show you when there's 
true selling starting to occur in an uptrend. That dramatically improves your probabilities of maximizing profits at reversals. Thank you for listening.